This is Rich from Eat Sleep 360 and today we're going to be looking at manual exposure on the Insta360 ONE X. Most people use auto exposure on most cameras and when they do this they're not making the most of the camera's functions and getting the best pictures and the best videos that they can get. So we're going to look at how and why you should use manual exposure on the Insta360 ONE X. If you're new to this channel this is the place to come to learn and perfect your 360 videos and your 360 photos. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. When we use auto exposure we're asking the camera to just figure out what it thinks is the best thing in any given situation. The camera doesn't know what we want to look at so it sets all of the settings based on averages to give us good mid-tones, good contrast and good highlights. The camera doesn't always get it right because it doesn't know what you're looking to focus your attention on. It doesn't know that you want a deep dark blue sky, it doesn't know you want detail in the clouds. When you shoot outside with the Insta360 ONE X or any 360 camera you see a lot of sky and the sky is the one thing that the camera usually gets wrong and it's usually an overexposed blue sky or overexposed clouds that have got no detail. And if you're shooting sunrise and sunset photos, you just need to shoot manual exposure because the camera will get it wrong. The camera sees a lot of darkness around you and it wants to give you more light. So it just overexposes everything that you don't actually want to see. So the three things that affect the brightness of a photo or video are iris, shutter speed and ISO. Now the iris is fixed on the Insta360 ONE X, we've got no control of that, but we can control the ISO and we can control the shutter speed. ISO is like gain, which is another term you may be familiar with with other video cameras. And when you change the ISO, you change how sensitive the camera sensor is to light. So on the Insta360 ONE X, those figures range from 100 ISO up to 3200 ISO. So if we want a darker image, we go for a lower ISO. And if we want a brighter image, we go for a higher ISO. And also it's important to note that the lower the ISO, the crisper and cleaner the image is. The higher the ISO, the more grain and noise you're going to introduce to the image. So to make your images as clean and crisp as possible, start with the lowest ISO that you can. So in this case with the Insta360 ONE X, always start with your base ISO at 100. Here on the app is where you'll be able to select manual exposure and manual settings and adjust the ISO manually. With shutter speed you've got to imagine it like a, a door on the camera and it's open for a certain amount of time and lets in less or more light into the camera. The shutter speed on the ONE X ranges from a 30th of a second to 55 seconds. And in photos you're using shutter to freeze motion or create motion blur. Taking photos with the ONE X, if we want to make the image darker with the shutter speed, then we use a faster shutter speed. And if we want to make the image brighter, then we use a slower shutter speed. And in video, we want to use shutter to make movement look as natural as possible. If we're shooting faster moving objects, then usually we would select a higher shutter speed. But if you want to add motion blur, then you can select a slower shutter speed. And if you're doing light painting or night photography, then you want to use a slower shutter speed and this on the ONE X goes up to 55 seconds. Manual mode is not ideal for all situations. If you're in a situation where the light is constantly changing, where you've got to keep resetting the camera, then auto might be your best bet. Most of the stuff I shoot with the Insta360 ONE X is outside and I've got plenty of time, so I always use manual mode to get the best out of the camera and create the best images that I can. So let's look at this in a real life example of me taking a photo out in the forest. So the sky in this photo is blue but it is a little bit washed out and I want to make that sky even crisper. So I set the ISO to 100 to give it a crisp, clean look. And now I'll start adjusting the shutter speed to a faster shutter speed to make the image darker. So in this situation, we've got lots of cloud, but the cloud have lost all their detail because the auto function on the camera has overexposed the whites in the clouds. And now we're going to adjust the shutter because the image is still too bright. So we'll adjust the shutter, put a faster shutter speed in, which will darken the image, which gives us more detail back in the clouds. There are lots of other videos out there that will give you a more scientific and thorough explanation of ISO and shutter speed. But this should give you a good basis to work from so you can start having more control over your image. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you on the next video.